If you are a lover of MIUI or HyperOS, have you ever tried MIUI Pro Edition? Because that was one of my favorite custom ROM. And after a long time, I tried one another mod of MIUI or I can say HyperOS. This one is Charlie OS. Personally speaking, it's quite amazing. It is bringing you the customizations, the features, which are so, so, so cool. Let me show you some of them. For example, this is the one, this is the UI in settings. You can say, if you take a look at the features or customizations by default in HyperOS, of course, everything is just literally same. So we'll not, we will not talk about all of those things. We will just quickly have a look the features and the features, the customizations, which are so good on this one. For example, one thing keep in mind, the main focus is on the customizations. Everything else is on the other side. Taking a look at the so likes, we have the settings mods. So for example, I just tried new Elixir settings UI. So like as you can see, if you have ever used project Elixir custom room, we have same sort of UI available in this case. So in my case, I'm just having three or four UI changes. But of course, this is just a kind of an example for you to show the customizations and the features. For example, if you use any other version on any other device of this custom room or this one is modded edition, you might see some more differences, but most of the things shall be same in your case. As you can see, we have the option for settings UI customizations, which are good. We have also have the option for settings home page customizations. We also have the option to customize the about phone UI. We have matrix, arrow OS, different sort of custom rooms. It's all about the customizations we have in this custom room in this modded edition of hyper OS. As I told you at the starting of the video, it is just giving me the vibes of MIUI Pro, which was having some great customizations. We also have the list view animation. So whenever I scroll, etc., I have some animations available. Maybe in this video, the thing that this, this room is not looking quite smooth, but in reality, it is smooth. It's just about the video. Sometimes it happens in lock screen customizations. Yes, we have some in the control panel. We have some control panel has inbuilt custom styles available. For example, if you take a look at this CC style, which is called control center style, we have approximately seven styles available. So you do not have to mod everything manually. That's a very useful thing. So for example, if you want to choose style four, style three, etc. One thing which is missing from here is the preview. If we have any kind of preview available, that would be quite easy. But of course, at least we have something that is quite good. Everything else is same. We also have the option to customize those styles separately. So if you want to choose, if you want to add or remove any tile, etc, etc, you can do that. Some of the customizations which are present in some AOSP based custom rooms are also present in this case. Like we have the icon styles, Wi-Fi icon, mobile data icon, etc, etc. We also have the options related to media and notifi notifications, etc. Almost everything you can customize, most of the things are present in this case. And one thing which is just so good, that is Dynamic Island. Unfortunately, I will not be able to show you the preview in this one. But yes, that is working perfectly fine. I tried it. I'm using it from past one day or two days. Things are looking so good. We have some extra modifications available in status bar. We have some options related to quick settings or battery bar, etc. A lot of things are present. If you want to take a look at all of those things, you can simply check out this. And after installing this, you will find all of these things. We also have the option for some spoofing things, which also matters a lot. You can say the options related to Google Photos, unlimited backup, higher FPS in games, Netflix, HDR, etc. Yes, all the customizations, all the spoofing options present in many, many custom rooms are the part of this modded edition of HyperOS. So that's good. Some of the useful features, some of the spoofing things and many, many more things. You have to take a look at them for sure secure spoofing and etc so make sure to give it a try these are the things which were noticeable in this one but we have some more things if you install it on your device you'll get to know more about this one this is hyper os and you can say this is charlie os a modded edition of hyper os you can say as i just told you at the starting of the video it's available for few of the xiaomi devices already if it is not available yet you might see it or you can check out in your device community the default launcher does not have any major custom Customizations, though it is having just similar options and of course everything else is just similar. like theming options same options available so this is it thanks for watching hope you like this video if you want to try it out you can link is in the description we'll see you in the next one take care